So we're the Civil, Troopers, Civil War Troopers from Cornwall, New York, under the baton of Drum Major Beth Yoder, and our director is Mr. Rick McDonald. And the Troopers would like to thank Bill McGrath and Gary Gelati, everybody on the executive board of the USARD for inviting us to be a part of this event. Um, you know, it's, it's an honor when you look at all the other groups here, uh, all the great groups performed last night, um, the, the American Drumming History Clinic this morning, and the Drummer's Heritage, and the Molar Drummers, and, and uh, the Regulators, and later on the Old Guard and the Connecticut Blues. It's an honor for us to be um, included in this event with everybody else, and, and we truly appreciate it. Now, one of the big things I've noticed, we've all noticed in our lifetime, is that Drum Corps has changed in so many ways. And one of the big things I think of is that it used to be a neighborhood activity. And everybody was from the town, and, and the Corps was located there. We all went to school together, and we were all part of the, you know, the same community. That was Drum Corps. And I think the Connecticut Blues, the regulators along with us, we could all tell you the same thing. Now the core is, is based in a town, but the majority of our members, so many of them, are traveling long distance to get there. And uh, it really wreaks havoc on rehearsals. And um, to, to kind of put it into perspective, the troopers are from Cornwall, New York. If you currently live in Cornwall, raise your hand. If you do not live in Cornwall, raise your hand. And we, we have a number of other members, long distance members, who, uh, who aren't here because they obviously don't live in Cornwall either. But, um, but it, it's a big part of drum corps these days. And, and the most important thing that is all the groups performing here today, and when you go to the fife and drum musters, you see parades across the country, we're all keeping this tradition alive. So, uh, so that's, it's awesome to be here, awesome to be part of uh, some great events. And, uh, and for most of us fife and drum corps, this, this is different than most of the, ev the events we play. Um, I'd like to invite Mr. Rick McDonald to come down here real quick. And he may be the only one from Cornwall, um, but he's a, what's that? He is our director, and, um, and you know, Rick, a uh, number of years back, actually about 25 years ago, uh, the Corps' founder and director, Joe McBee, passed away, and we needed a, a new director. Someone had to step up. Rick, you know, he did it, and he stayed on the job for all these years, and now Rick is an incredible bass drummer. And along with his brother, Jimmy, Donnie Mason has said they are, one of the best bass drum duos he's ever heard. And, uh, you know, Ricky is also an incredible snare drummer. And he, he played with the Cornwall Continentals, and he was a part of some great drum lines. And you're probably saying, if he's such a great drummer, why the heck is he playing that fight? Well, Rick, the great leader that he is, he, um, he not only talks the talk, he walks the walk. The core hit a point, we were low on fifers, and Rick put down his drum, and he stepped up, and he started playing fife, and he's been playing fife with the core, you know, probably 99% of the time for the last 15, 20 years. So, Rick, thank you very much for being such a great leader for us. We really appreciate it. Everyone, give a round of applause for Rick McDonald. We're going to play a medley for you right now called The Yellow Rose of Cornwall. Uh, Brendan Mason says when he, uh, when he, thinks of the troopers, this is the first uh, set of music that comes to his mind. So, the Yellow Rose of Cornwall.
So we're going to ask Rick to finally, after all these years, put down that fife and pick up that bass drum. And uh, you know, uh, you've heard last night, those of you who were here, uh, back in November, our great friend and, and brother, Trooper, Nick Atanasio, passed away. And uh, this is his bass drum right on the center of the floor. Later on, we're going to have some people come up and join us as a tribute to him. What we're going to play next is a medley titled 1812. And um, it's one of the medleys where the bass drums swing a lot throughout, in the Nick Atanasio style. There are a lot of bass drummers out there, you know, and a lot of chorus have their own style of swinging. Uh, but we really try to emulate what Nick did. And um, so we're going to play 1812 as a core in honor of the late, great Nick Atanasio. comes in all shapes and sizes. When I joined the Troopers, uh, the drum line was basically the McDonald brothers, who were both taught by Harold Green and heavily influenced by Nick Atanasio. And then the snare line was Harold Green, Vinnie Sepio, and Jerry Whittaker, all Hellcat drummers. And within the drum line, tons of influence. And, uh, you know, everyone would love the Sons of Liberty, you know, uh, the great drum line that Nick played in with Les Parks and Bobby Tunks and so many others. Then there was the New York Regimentals. Then uh, through the years, the Connecticut Yanks, Charlie Floral right there. Um, another group that uh, drum, uh, oh, excuse me, drum corps that really influenced uh, what many of the members of the drum line did. And, and last but not least, the Connecticut Blues. One of the biggest influences on me, they are my favorite corps. Second friend after the Troopers. Uh, favorite corps, the Connecticut Blues. And uh, so a few years ago, we were playing a uh, Westbrook. We were the feature corps, and I said, let's put together this tribute drum solo, and it's, uh, it's kind of a greatest hits deal uh, with a little bit from the Sons of, Reg Sons of Liberty, Regimentals, Yanks, and Blues.
uh, Harold Green was in the drum line, and, and we lost Harold a few years ago. Uh, very influential on everyone in this drum line. I, I would say everyone uh, playing snare and bass today, well, as a group, we were all collectively uh, influenced by Harold Green and Nick Atanasio more than more than it, more than you can ever imagine. And uh, Harold Green wrote this drum part for the song Black Watch. Anthony Piscatello tells me this is the best drum part for Black Watch. He's a bass drummer, so you'll understand why when you hear the beginning of it. We're going to start it off with a little crazy army to lead into it. piece we're going to play, uh, you know, um, uh, Bill was talking about folk music, and in the first medley we played uh, Yellow Rose of Cornwall, you know, going around the mountain and uh, um, Red River Valley, kind of folk tunes, you know, country tunes. And this next medley we're going to play is called Little Grace and Me. And when Grace was a baby, right, she probably cried more than any baby you've ever met in your life, and you all have babies, and trust me, Grace cried more. And <laughs> And we had a circular kitchen to the living room and everything, and 3 o'clock in the morning, I'd be walking around with her in my arms going, bum, 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 little Grace and me, and Granny's little Gracie loves shortening, shortening. And all these little tunes that I sang as I ran, walked around the kitchen for hours in the middle of the night, turned into this medley uh, with not so little Grace, uh, little Grace and me. And, and sorry about that. Um, you know, we don't claim to be the best core around, the best fighters, the best drummers, but I will promise you this. When you go to bed tonight, and you're starting to get in your bed, and you're looking up at the ceiling, and you find yourself humming, uh, skip to my loo, and shorten the bread, you've got us to blame for it. Thank you.
troopers early on, uh, our music was all arranged by a guy named Andy Hen. And Andy had this idea that when you marched a parade, you were providing music, and there shouldn't be any breaks in the, in the, the medleys you play. And he would write medleys that were a minimum of five minutes long, and we had a medley up to eight minutes long, our Civil War medley. And uh, there were barely any drum breaks in it, and when we finished it, his idea is that you play two street beats, and you go into the next one. So it didn't give the fifers much of a break. So we are going to give them a little break here. And um, we, that Civil War medley, the drumming was all written by a guy named Jerry Whitaker. And Jerry played with the Continentals. He was a student of Harold Green's. He played with the Hawthorne Caballeros. He was a Hellcat. And um, Jerry wrote this great drum part called uh, Civil War. And we took it and we adapted it into a drum solo. So this is for Jerry Whitaker, Civil War. Pipers and snares, step down. Devil Sloop people, come on, come on up here. And uh, as one, one last bit, what we'd like to do is we'd like to uh, pay one last tribute to Nick Atanasio, the way he would, the way he would like to be sent off, with two of his favorite tunes, Devil Sloop and O'Connor's Quick Step. And uh, so we've invited a bunch of our friends to uh, come on up and jump on, on those two tunes. And um, one last time, Bill McGrath, Gary Gelati and everyone at USARD, thank you so much for, for having us here. We really enjoyed being a part of it. And, um, you know, we look forward to the, the rest of the performances this afternoon. Thank you, Bill.